All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to go over, over. Today I want to go over how to uh, wire or rough in a receptacle with three three plus wires. So this will be the final video of the series because this is all you need to know. So I got one wire right here um, that I cut off just for an example for this video. Another wire right here on the end of my wire, and then I'm going to strip out the other end of this other wire off my roller wire so I can try to save as much wire as possible for future videos without having to waste wire. So once again, just going to strip that real quick, pull that off, take off the paper. And I did remove the staple up here just to get, show you guys um, how to do this. So it has been a really long time since I have done residential, so forgive me if I'm giving you the wrong information right here. Um, last time I checked, it's okay to do two wires on a st or three wires on a stud if you're going side to side if they're in the middle. Don't quote me on that. Um, but worst case, you can use a uh, plastic little uh, kind of like a fork looking thing. Uh, they call it like a stacker, and then you can stack your wires in between those. Um, I do have some somewhere around here, just didn't bring them out for the video. Um, so first of all, I'm going to stick one wire in here. And these are all from a previous video, so they're all kind of curled up already. So I can stick, you can stick two wires in one hole on these boxes. So I got two wires going on the right side. And then I'm going to put my third wire on the right hole. So that'll be my third wire. Um, just make sure your know your box fill or anything like that. Um, but mostly you're never really going to see more than four wires in a box, if that. But basically you want to keep it two or three. Um, just because if you do two, um, if you're going through the method where you're not wire nutting only... If you're not wire nutting the neutrals and hots... Um, then you only have to uh, pigtail the grounds. So if you're doing, if you have two wires in a box, then you only have to pigtail the ground if that's the way, the route that you're going. But if you do three wires, then you have to pigtail everything um, every time. So uh, let me just show you how to do this real quick. Let me grab my hammer, a couple staples wherever I put those. So you're gonna want to um, start off by putting two of these in the center to get an idea you're just going to want to put these side by side so you're going to stack two of these on one side and then one of them on the other side sort of like this so just get both of these to as close to center to the pos as, oh my gosh as close as center to as possible so you're going to want to go up about six inches and usually you can do that by sticking your hammer up there so you're going to want to go up about somewhere up here there's no real, uh, I mean, six inches is the ideal, but you can go lower, but you definitely don't want to go too much higher. And you can um, take your staples and angle them. That might get them a little bit, um, a little bit tighter, because if you do put the staples sideways, then it's going to give them more distance apart, putting them closer to the edge, and you don't really want that, so kind of... Tilt them at an angle, it'll give you a little bit tighter space. Of course. That started to bend over, so I can fix that in a second. Um, just kind of want to bend that back up. Something like that. Just keep them loose, a little bit wiggly, so they're not pinching the wire. And then you're going to want to staple your second wire. You can go right next to it or right below it if you want to get a little bit closer. Just try not to pinch this wire on top of the staple. Um, and try not to hit your finger when you're doing this. It's been a long time since I smashed my thumb. And I like to keep it that way. All right, so now that you got your wires stapled down in the middle of the stud, you are good to go. And so let's go ahead and start wiring this. Um, so you're going to have three grounds, three neutrals, and three hots. Like I said in the last video, you will always have the ground in the middle. So I like to keep the ground in the middle, hold it, and then take the two hots and neutrals and just fold them up. Just 
keeps everything less tangled. It's gonna save you effort and time and anger. So if you just fold all those up out of the way, push all these three to the corner, left corner of the box. And then once again, take your measurement here. This one, this ground's a little bit short, so I can pull it down a little bit. But you're just gonna want to get your four finger length right there. If they're not all the same, you can cut one of them a little bit. And then grab your pigtail, and this is, we're using this from another video, so this one's already kind of curled and destroyed right here with the hook on the end. So just take your three, or your four grounds, because you have three plus your pigtail. So you're gonna have your four wires here, and then twist those all together. Just give it a nice little twist. Then you can pull on all these, make sure they're not gonna come out. So those are all solid. Then take my three neutrals, make sure they're not tangled again. Keep the hots out of the way. And then do my three neutrals next. Push those back to the left side next to the ground or somewhere in the middle, whatever it works for you. And then once again, take your four finger length. I'm gonna have to restrip a couple of these. That one's gonna be a little curly. And if you have any curly wires like this, if you're redoing a plug or anything, just kind of crimp it with your stripper, straighten it out. This one's already crooked for some reason. So once again, grab your pigtail. Take your three wires in your pigtail, so you'll have four. Wires a little bit twisted, hopefully this will stay. I'll just fix it. So this one's a little curly again. For the sake of reusing wire for videos. So take your three wires in your pigtail. And then line them up, twist them up. So give these a nice little pull again, make sure they're not coming out. So those three are good. You can kind of push those back and start on your hots next, lastly. Push those to the back right corner. Get your four finger length. And then we'll cut those. Straighten these ones back out. Put on the 14 gauge if you are stripping 14 gauge wire. 12 gauge if you're stripping 12 gauge wire. Or if you're doing plugs in 10, then that's a different story. That's more commercial. Maybe I'll show you that one day, but same idea, but just have to ground a little bit different with the thicker size ground wire. If you're going with plugs in 10, <clears throat> it depends on the plug, whether you're going to land it on a plate terminal or a screw terminal, you might have to add some fork terminals or whatnot. That's, that's another story. So lastly, line up your four hots three hots and a pigtail. Give it one last pull test. And those are all good. Then you're going to fold these up, kind of like this to go left to right. Grounds on the left first, neutrals second, hots third. And last, like I said yesterday, you can take your hammer. If they're sticking out a little bit too far. Just kind of squish them back there. Give you as much room as possible. And then take your wires here if they're not destroyed. So these are just curly because I reused these. And just take your wires, fold them up. 
and then once again shove them as far back as you can for wire protection and there you have it guys thank you for watching i appreciate it hopefully that answers some questions if you were wondering how to wire a receptacle rough enough receptacle with three wires or more um, that should do it if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like and subscribe i'd appreciate it hope to see you guys back here in the next video um, check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams thanks guys so much god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out